Hello and welcome everyone to this very important update. As you know, yesterday was June 22nd, a historic moment in the history of Tesla and in the history of transportation. Why? Because Tesla Robotaxi launched, as you see here, the amazing Model Y with a Robotaxi logo and icon on the side. Looks a little cyberpunky, but I love it. So in this video, we are going to cover what happened. Was it a success or was it not a success? What is the stock doing and what happens next now that the clock is ticking and we are live with the most important innovation in the history of transportation, short of maybe Henry Ford launching mass production of cars or Otto Benz inventing the internal combustion engine. So what is happening? Tesla launched Robotaxi. Here you see Elon amidst his ilk, amidst the most ingenious autonomous uh, engineers, autonomous intelligence engineers in the world. And what we also saw, are of course, a lot of different robo taxis. Here is a beautiful red one. Here is one in real life in front of the Texas star in Austin in white. Here you see the black one that I already showed you. And we saw interesting details from inside Tesla. For example, this control room for robo taxi, and it looks cool, right? It looks like a SpaceX launch center but if you zoom in of course we got some very interesting details here for example this was before they launched before noon i think it got postponed to 2 p.m but here here we saw what happened before the launch and they show 112 rides so that was probably where the test rides in austin before launch we saw 499 miles driven so an average of roughly five miles per trip interesting detail but most importantly, do you see this thing? That is the number of robo taxis on the road. Now, we know that Elon said 10 to 20. We see now 35 on the dashboard on, in the control room of Tesla. That doesn't mean 35 are actually commercially deployed because all of that is pre-commercial. All of that happened before they launched yesterday. So that might include the test robo taxis whatsoever. It means that 35 robo taxis are actually on the road. And that is much more than 10 to 20. And as you know, from my theory and my trajectory, uh, trajectories of the expected case of the bull case, the fast scaling case and the bear case, it makes a huge difference, especially in the beginning, how many robo taxis are actually on the road. So 35, interesting number. And we already hear higher numbers. I will get into that throughout this week covering this. Hey, creating these videos is a lot of work please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to the video. This is all about the question, how many robo taxis do we actually have? Does it work? Now we had YouTubers and Tesla tubers from all over the world coming in. Here's an example of Torgild Johansson. I saw that on X, he actually flew in from Denmark, all the way from Denmark. That's a very long flight to Austin to test drive this Tesla fan from Denmark looking for a ride along, but I guess not any ride along, only robo taxis accepted by Torquilt. So welcome to Austin Torquilt. I hope you enjoyed that. And of course we had also analysts, Dan Ives team. Dan Ives wasn't there himself, but his team and they test wrote this. And Dan was actually on CNBC just now talking about this. And he said he expected an eight out of 10 experience. But he said it was a 10 out of 10. Of course, Dan is a little, little bit of a Tesla bull. So we have to be cautious. And it's important to understand that a lot of Tesla tubers and analysts who were there yesterday, you know, are a little biased pro Tesla. So we can't totally believe everything that we are hearing, but the feedback was tremendously positive. So of course, one of the most neutral and unbiased people in the world is Sawyer Merritt. And even he said it was an extremely positive experience. Just kidding. Sawyer is known to be also not a Tesla hater and Sawyer, I'm a big fan of Sawyer and Sawyer of course is a big Tesla bull. So also here we have to take it with a little <clears throat> grain of salt, but they're all very positive. So what we see in pre-market is that Tesla is actually not reacting to this too strongly. We actually see that Tesla stock is not moving much. And the question is why? Why is that? Uh, we actually see now, uh, I have the latest update here. 
that Tesla is making a little bit of a jump. We can go into the live. So after opening, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, let's go right here. First minutes of trading, Tesla's up 13 points. So that's 4.22%. Pretty good. Let's see where it goes. But we have to understand that Tesla was all the way up here very recently at 362, 335. So that's not a very impressive thing where we are at. And let's see if it holds. So we got a little bit of a boost. Not sure it holds. My opinion is that this will maybe not be a singular event yesterday that just drives up the stock like, like crazy. Because, because, because what we saw yesterday had no surprise element built in, right? There was no surprise here. Everyone knew it's going to launch. Sure, the launch went pretty smoothly and maybe that justifies 5% up, but probably not more because the market right now has macro pressures from Iran and all kinds of stuff. And there's no surprise here. Now, what is Wall Street looking for, in my opinion? What are markets looking for, in my opinion? Well, I think what everyone now is looking for is exactly what I outlined before. I think the time of hype and you know trading on hype is over for Tesla because this thing has been hyped for 10 years. So all the hype is now used up, which is fine because we are here now and the hype has to be replaced with reality. But the good news is my gut feeling is reality is right around the corner to show that Robotaxi can actually work and will work. So from June 22nd to some point in the future, the medium future or in the short term future, maybe even in the very short term future, no one knows, the hype will be replaced with some sort of reality. And what that reality is, is the trillion dollar question. And what it means is free cash flow. Can Tesla Robotaxi actually scale to a point? where this moves the needle significantly in terms of free cash flow and profits for the company. And if they can, the hype will not only be replaced, but they will be exceeded in terms of stock price. Very dramatically, as you know from my models, from the financial models and the RoboTaxi simulator that we have on Pioneer Lands, where you can see what actually happens to the cash flows. And the great advantage we have over here at Pioneer Lands, where we track all that stuff, is that we actually have models and smart frameworks for determining what's going to happen. So I shared that last week. I do it again. This is the updated RoboTaxi simulator where I show the green line, which in my opinion, you know, is the decisive inflection point and the forcing function where the stock has to be driven up towards 1000 roughly in the short term. Of course, beyond that at some point quickly thereafter, but 1000 is the tactical price target at the magnet that I think will become a very important marker. Once the world realizes that Robotaxi is not a joke, it's not Waymo, that Robotaxi is actually something that will very quickly, immediately eclipse Waymo, but very quickly eclipse the entire ride-sharing market like Uber and so on. And then it will go above a thousand. Once people realize that Robotaxi will not only replace and knock out ride shares very quickly, but actually eat deep into car ownership in the Western world and maybe even in the Eastern world. So that 5%, this line here, the 5%, that is the free cash flow of 2025, 2024, 5% line. So that green line represents 5% of Tesla free cash flow from last year. Why is this so important? Because if you're growing at that rate, so these lines are the RoboTaxi free cash flows, the free cash flows into Tesla that will be generated through the RoboTaxi vertical. Once and these are three different cases. Yellow is the fast scaling case. Red is the expected case, my expected case. And blue is the bad case where everything goes very slowly. Why is that the forcing function? Because as you can see, once you're on the yellow trajectory or the red trajectory, you can see once the green line is crossed, it's only a matter of a few months before this goes to 100% of free cash flow of 2024. In other words, you double the free cash flow and of the profit of the entire company. And once you double it, you triple it and you quadruple it because the market is so ridiculously enormous. Below the green line, in my opinion, if you're a skeptic, you know, if you're a shareholder who doesn't really believe it, an institutional shareholder or something, you can say, you know what? I don't buy it. I wait. That doesn't mean that you wait. 
under the green line, you can still go to a thousand or 500 or 600, but it's going to be a little bit on faith, which can totally happen. A little bit of hype and we are back to 480 and then go towards 600. But above the green line, I think it's not discretionary anymore. People have no choice but to buy Tesla at these prices and drive the price up. That's what I mean with a forcing function. Above the green line, in my opinion, we will not be dependent anymore on the market being rational or irrational or people being bullish or bearish. Above the green line, it's game over. You have enormous amounts of cash rolling into the company and no one cannot buy the stock if it's far below 1,000, which means it drives it to 1,000. And that is a wall, a forcing function. And when you look at where this happens based on the RoboTaxi simulator, it's going to be in November, October. And in my opinion, if that's the case, people will see it even earlier, the people who are a little ahead. So you will see, you know, potentially massive stock movement in August and September, which is around the corner in the fast scaling scenario. And this is not optional. This will happen if we get on this trajectory. So what was the number? You should check out my video from last week because I talked about the specific number after updating the price per mile to $3. Who knows if it will end up there? Yesterday, we had a $4.20 flat rate, which is kind of ridiculous. So that's going to be the launch economics. It basically just tells us they don't want to tell us the price for now. And they just charge $4.20 flat. This will definitely change very soon, but I think that's the experimental phase right now. So I modeled $3. It makes a big difference for free cash flow. And <clears throat> let's see, maybe they make it $2. Who knows? And uh, if this happens, you know, you know what happens. Now, of course, we're here in June and our information advantage at Pioneer Lands is that we have these models. We are covering everything on the ground and we have broken these three trajectories down into exact numbers for the different months. So in July, we're talking about 40. As you heard, we are a little behind in terms of launch timeline because it happened June 22nd, not June 1st, but we are already at 35. So this is being confirmed that we are at 35 and maybe at 40 next week. We are already in the expected and fast track for now, for July. Now, will that actually lead to this? Well, we have to watch. We have to watch very closely. But if we see in July that these August numbers are already coming in sight, right? That we are getting to 100 and 200 robo taxis. Oh my. Then we are in an interesting scenario because 1,800 is the number that I calculated last week. Let's make it 2,000 to be conservative. I do think if we get to 2,000 robo taxis this year, the stock will shoot up to 1,000 because people are not that dumb, right? If you if you go to 1,800, of course, nothing stops you to go to 18,000 and then nothing stops you to go to 180,000 and people are not dumb. They will understand that. So looking at these numbers, this is the most important chart for the next two months, in my opinion, maybe three months to watch where we end up, right? Do we get to 40? Do we get to 100? We're at 200 and then maybe after 200, do we stay at 200 for a long time or do we keep going up? And then it is game time. Now let's talk about money and trading. This is exactly what I'm saying for a long time. I've been very patient. You have been very patient. We had the Trump election that was a huge run out of the stock. That was a little surprise. It was great. But I said since the beginning of last year, we have to be patient and wait until this moment when RoboTax is actually live because this is the decisive moment. What is so decisive about it? that these are the moments that are very few apart. They are not frequent, these moments, where we see a moment in history in a stock where true alpha is emerging from the mist. And we see, wow, we have some information and knowledge advantage here over Wall Street, over institutional investors, which is very rare, but it is here potentially now if these things happen. If these numbers come in and we get to 100, sorry, and 200 in robo taxi deployment. And we see the stock lagging and not quickly approaching 1000, well, let's say 500 for now, and then quickly 1000. If we see any kind of lag, that is the magic moment where you have a asymmetric information advantage and can generate alpha by buying this thing. Now, never investment advice, you make up your own mind, but I know what I'm going to do. If that happens, it's not stock time anymore, it's options time. So it's incredibly important to watch this very closely. And now is the time to track that day by day. So 
I actually changed the way I'm uh, producing these videos. As you can see, this is a post in Pioneer Lands. And why is this important? Because you guys, if you're Pioneer Lands members, you can comment right down here. And if you already did, even though it's very new, and we also had some interesting commentary here. I will want to go through this before we wrap up. 60 robo taxis in testing, starting with 35 robo taxis instead of 10 to 20 shows two things, says Alex. We have lots of confidence on the Tesla team. I agree. And second, most importantly, sent bagging by Elon because they said 10 to 20 and they knew they had 35 or 60. <laughs> so if that turns out to be true, that we are at two to four X, what they actually sent bagged here, that uh, could turn out very bullish for our trajectories, right? And then Lincoln actually said on X, numerous robo taxis were spotted without a driver on the highway outside of the geofenced area. Sorry, I didn't include the geofenced area, but it's basically south of Austin uh, proper, you know, of Austin downtown, south of the river and or the lake, whatever. I still don't understand what, why it's a lake and not a river. But anyway, so south of downtown. So Lincoln says we have spotted robo taxis on the highway without a driver. So yes, I believe Tesla's already expanding this thing pretty dramatically. So what we could see is a rapid, rapid change. But don't forget when it comes to money trading, especially options, don't listen to all the hype and the bulls like all of us here. Be very rational. Always ask the critical question. Does that really mean that we expand right away? Who knows? So be cautious before you do any investment moves or tactical options moves. I don't think the stock is too risky, but options definitely are. So listen to all the information, but be critical. Uh, so KD says, um, if macro was better, I would have expected a little hype wave still. Well, that didn't happen. I think we are super low right now. We had three, 335 today, uh, down from 360 just a few weeks ago. <clears throat> so I think it's an attractive entry point. Uh, everything is sandbagged and lowballed, so that's good. And uh, John Ford says, so are we basing the 35 assumption on that blurry picture of a dashboard? It does make sense in the context, but uh, can anyone think of anything else that may make sense? I think it's pretty clear someone had actually zoom in. I think we are talking about 35 here. Uh, so there you have it. So I think we are in a very interesting situation. Now is the time to generate that alpha we are all seeking on Tesla. And now it will pay off that we have these models, these theories, that we have a great community here that understands what's going on and where we have intelligence and exchange by the minute. And I will cover this close up and zero in on the things that actually matter. So I hope that was helpful. See you very soon in Pioneer Lands. Check the description if you don't know what I'm talking about and visit us there. See you very soon.